Hey guys, I'm Melissa Roxburgh, and this is my Take 5. The last TV show I binged, I'm always like way far behind, but it was Euphoria. Someday I can do no wrong. What do you think, because I went to rehab, I stayed clean? I mean, ain't that the point? Euphoria was probably the complete opposite of my childhood. I'm a pastor's kid, so I got to see what the normal kids were doing, I guess. Is that normal? <laughs> is like, is that what everyone did growing up? No? Okay. Doesn't matter. But this is lit. I was that nerd who would go to a friend's house, and if they turned on a movie I wasn't allowed to watch, then I would go sit in the other room. And I remember my friends turned on that 70s show, and it has weed in it, and drinking, and sex, and so I literally went into the other room and played with the dog. What a little lover boy! If I could have dinner with any actor or actress in the world, I'd have to go with Amy Poehler. I just think it'd be a lot of fun. I feel like we'd drink a lot, laugh a lot. We're sorry! I love her in Parks and Rec. Yeah, I watched that in two days, so I have a problem. She's as powerful as Stalin, and she's as beautiful as Margaret Thatcher. I'm not as type A as she is. I'm a little bit more of a mess, but she just she just wants everything to go right so much that it always goes wrong. It's okay, everything's fine. Just wheel out the backup cake. The movie that changed me the most. I mean, first of all, like I wasn't allowed to watch a lot of movies growing up. Our options were very limited. I wasn't ready. I might never be. But one movie that I watched that that pulled the heartstrings was Pursuit of Happiness. I mean, it's it's super sad and it's also so happy. And how can you not love Will Smith? Hey, I'm gonna let you hang on to my car for the weekend, but I need it back for Monday. Feed the meter. The thing that I took away from Pursuit of Happiness was that moment where he gave the guy his his last dollars. It just goes to show that like having a really good heart while pursuing what you want, it winds up giving back. Was it as easy as it looked? No, sir. No, no, sir, it wasn't. Um, I mean, I just rewatched Thelma and Louise. Get the car. Oh, Jesus Christ. Louise, you shot him. You know, it's, I'm a bit of both. In some situations, I'm much more of a Thelma. Well, darling, look out, cause my hair is coming down. But I think overall with my sisters and with my close friends, I'm, I'm more of a Louise. Well, you get what you settle for. I do have a Gina Davis story. So it was a 6 a.m. flight and I walk on and I was 4A or whatever. So I go up to 4A and there's a woman sitting there and it was so early that I wasn't awake and I just said, eh, excuse me, you're in my seat. And I was rude and she was like, oh, I am so sorry. And she got up and she went to her chair and as she passed me, I was like, oh, oh that's Gina Davis. Gina Davis, you can absolutely have my seat. If 4A suits you better, please, please always take 4A. My goodness, you were sure gentlemanly about it. I think some of the strangest fan theories that I've heard of recently are that Zeke is planted by the Major to infiltrate our family. I think we're gone. That's what I wanted you to think. Another one about the Major is that the Major is Michaela years from now when she time traveled. You need completion so you can finally move on. That Michaela is pregnant with Jared's baby from before the flight. Although if I am, I am not showing and I look great. I don't know what happened that night exactly. Yeah, I think those are the strangest ones. That I do know. Hey guys, thanks for watching my Take 5. Check out Manifest on Mondays on NBC.